if the three of spades is your card, then this is the artist card. And so at the three of spades, you has a great deal of personal magnum, magnum, a charm, a magnetism, and which can also add to dis disappointments in your love life in your early years, because a variety is what you is what is what the energy brings. And so there's a tendency for you to mix love and money together, and, and learning how to separate your business from your emotions is the key to your financial success. And so you are the artist card. So this, so you are creative and clever, and you prefer more freedom and travel and change more than anything. Then this can, can provide you variety and, and action. You know what I mean? Because you love action. You love to be active. You don't really like being bored, just like any other three. But the spades add to it. Just give you a, a spiritual twist to it. So, so this give you connection with self mastery. So as long as you master yourself, you apply knowledge to your life. You know what I mean? As you seek and you apply, this is how you win. And, and you master yourself, your emotions. You master have a balance and harmony upon yourself. This is how you win. So your business competitors will bring changes and shifts of policy that causing causing your income to change. So I'm just saying that you might be in, interested in transactions from everywhere. So it is being said that why business is very important for you. You know what I mean? So association is the key to you. And also, you usually realize how much you can contribute to your partnership, a friendship, a relationship, and work in your in your early 30s or your 30s, period. And so, the woman is definitely associate, associated with uh, beneficial. Uh, they're very beneficial and they're very uh, career-wise. Talking about the women's, that's the three of spades. And so we speak to the three of spades. People, you have no easy life path. You know what I mean? You can choose the way to success through hard work and responsibility. Or you may prefer to stay in the rut, in the comfort zone. So if you stay in that rut, you cannot succeed. So you got to get, get out that rut. And so you as the three of spades, you're willing to take responsibility seriously. And this is how you will be rewarded in harmony and love and beauty. And so beauty of all kinds of what you love. So you might experience inner, inner uh, conflict because you're insecure towards finances. But... You you have good protection if you make the right decisions about values. You know what I mean. So you as the three of spades, it's important for you to keep up with a healthy lifestyle because you you are spiritual. Because the spades is very spiritual. They deal with higher wisdom, higher energy, higher vibration, they, and they also deal with, with labor, which is work. And so it's very important for you to keep up with a healthy lifestyle and a diet, something that fits you, because you know you know what fits you and what to eat and what not to eat. And so, you know what I mean? So you may not trust uh, medicine that's from pharmacies and stuff like that. So you better off using the natural methods of healing. And so this will work best for you at the three of spades. You know what I mean? So you're very talkative. You're highly communicative. And, you know, like all three, just relate to many uh, different uh, talents, gifts, skills, cultures, countries, you deal with all type of people, you like the variety of things, and so, if you get bored of anything, especially a job, you quit to switch it, and, and you quit to switch projects, because your mind could be indecisive, you can start it off and switch up, and this could be bad, but as long as you focus on one thing, this is how you win, and so, you as the three of spades person, you're highly creative, you had a highly creative force. That I mean, of all threes, and this could lead you to either happiness or unhappiness, all this energy. So it's how the energy go. Either way, one for the highest good or one for the lowest bad. So, but this being said, it's up to you how the energy is utilized because you're already connected with the highest source, which is like a dynamite. And so the space suits, you know what I mean? It is with your emotions, your intellectual uh, games, your evaluation of things that do not excite you. As much as your your willpower and your wisdom, this is with your willpower and your wisdom also. And so you as the space person, you want to find the truth, 
and you go to the screamer thing because this, this this suit go to the screen the spades go to the a screen when they do something the scream of the good or the scream of the bad so this being said spades are definitely spiritual giants all spades are spiritual giants and so in life you work hard for something that, that you believe that's worth it worth it if not you might be get caught up in your rut and so you want to get the job done and you know how to get the job done and so you take pride in the quality of getting the job done so this being said you as the space person you have tre tremendous potential of willpower and this will help you to succeed in every area so successful completion is very important to you so what you start you like to finish you know what i mean so with, with this being said it's all about for you infinite wisdom and happiness and it's the greatest satisfaction of all and getting things done. At the three of spades, you have a great opportunity for success. You know what I mean? You have you always have opportunities for great success in your life. And the thing is, you're willing to work for it. So that's the great thing about you. So the heavier the, the load, the more you'll work for it. You know what I mean? So this is how you receive your income. This is how you become uh, financially prosperous. So it's all about the value for you as the three space people. And so with this being said, you're more concerned about your health. And you should be more concerned about your health. Because the worst your, the, your conditions may be, you have, you have a responsibility to watch your thoughts and your feelings. Because this is part of your health matters. So your thoughts and your feelings, because since you're spiritual, that's why it's so important. You know what I mean? Many of you, your health problems could be traced to your emotional stress that's in your life. So your strong work and career drives can often interfere with attention to your body, the way your body responds and how they react, and your emotions also. So it's not it's best for you to not overwork yourself, you know what I mean, and, and keep yourself balanced. And you have great success when you look within yourself, when you apply your inner values know what I mean, and, uh, mastery within yourself. When you master that aspect, this is how you win in business or anything. And, and also it brings more opportunities for you. So you, you are definitely a creative artist and this is your gift. You got an artistic gift and you can do some of the most uh, uh, beautiful thing. And, and you got the, the most inspiring expressions. When you're dealing with uh, the creative uh, arts and with dealing with the sales, you're good in sales. This is how you will sell. You deal with advertising and, and promotion. Any artist field, it could be music, it could be artwork, it could be architecture, it could be anything that deals with uh, artist work. Because you got to understand that music is part of the arts also. Anything that deals with, with designing, anything that deals with being creative with the hands. And so, you are well suited for having multiple occupations, and you, and you usually choose this. But you must be careful not to take on too much, because like this, this could drain your energy. So long as your energy ain't, ain't drained, since you're spiritual, this this how this will, will help you. This this the three. This brings a huge amount of creativity, and this could bring you to telling the half truths or, or stories, or, or lies, or stories to make your life easier. So. St storytelling is a part of your vibration too so you might be the person who would like to tell all type of stories so so you know but if for you to stress yourself truthfully and not lies because this is a lot of energy it could go either either way or either or that i mean so you can easily tell stories that are believed by others and you never run out of business ideas and nothing like that so so you will meet d disappointments and problems if you don't be honest with yourself or be honest with others in your life. And many of you do who don't be honest. And so your path is the highest path when dealing with integrity, when dealing with higher wisdom, higher thoughts, and your willingness to put forth an honest work effort will bring you success at what you want, at what you desire, which or, or your attentions. Because you, you can become magical once you, with your energy aligned and your energy is right. And so among you are some of the most successful creative artists or artists or musicians and even, you know, inventors in the world. 
And so the three of spades, you are a highly creative and romantic person. And you need a partner who share the same interests as you, who's on the same frequency as you. And so there are hurdles in love that based upon your inner fears of abandonment and rejection that must be dealt with. So once you deal with that, that I mean, you have all good potential for marriage because you got that naturally, but you got to overcome that, your fears of abandonment and, and rejection from others. And so you need an outlet or something for your creative powers because this will put you in harmony. Listen to some good music, creating good music, creating art, you know what I mean? Looking at art, being around art because this is part of your talents, your gifts. Not only do you like to create, you like to be around what you do, you know what I mean? This, this gives you a sense of uh, balance and harmony. You as, as the three of spades usually attracts a mate who, who has a critical nature or who's a pessimistic or saddest. But you also may uh, attracts the ones who just like you, who are happy, who makes good money, and who enjoys life or, or relationships in general. And so this is very good. Know what I mean? Love could be good. Know what I mean? When they talk about the spiritual aspects. Cause love can help you and bring you to the highest level of spirituality. But that's when you choose the partner who's for you and you know who's for you. You know what I mean? Because you also has a tendency uh, to not see the bad in your partner, which could be a failure. So you must be honest at all times, even with your partner. You know what I mean? When they're not right. Cause you know what I'm saying? Cause this could blind you. Love could blind you when you're in love with someone. So be careful because you could be blind and your partner could take you through hell because of your blindness. But long as you long as you be honest and be real and see that side of your partner, that that the naughty side, the negative side, or the downside, this this is how you went through honesty. That I mean. And you ought to have emotional challenges that begin with your childhood that must be dealt with. And so this is before you have a happy uh, married life or a happy life. It must be dealt with, your emotional aspects. Balance out your mind, the harmony, you know what I'm saying? Get your mind right. Growth of yourself. So you need to grow uh, positivity and you need to grow Good uh, mental habits, uh, positive mental habits, and affirmations about love, and uh, uh, strong affirmations that's positive. Our restless nature, your, your creative outlet will give you uh, ability to reach your highest potential of being positive in a relationship and honesty. This is how you win. The three of spades male, the diamonds. Women's are very attracted to you. Know what I mean? And as both sexes, with the male or the female, three of spades, you're often better with the club males in your lives. And the diamond males can be somewhat difficult at times, so watch out for them. The three, the three of spades females are attracted to the male, the hearts males, the hearts, the males of the heart suit. Your second, your second uh, card, which is your planetary ruling card. If you are born on January the 11th, you're the Capricorn. Yours is the, the Jack of Clubs, Fury the Knife, the Aquarius. Yours the Nine of Diamonds, March the Seven, Pisces, Seven of Spades, April the Fifth, the Aries, Five of Diamonds, May the Third, Taurus, the Seven of Clubs. June the 1st, Gemini, the Nine of Hearts. Now, this is your second card that you should look up because I can't let bring you this light. It gets no realer than this. Look these cards up because your second card is, is important too. So, with your Sun card and you got your planetary card, wow, this is how you win. Now, as I can't let bring you this light, it gets no realer than this. I'll shake.